Welcome back. Uh, we are uh, you with us here on Trading Hour. The market is uh, down, but it's holding on to that 10,500 mark, as we've been pointing out. LNT Technologies uh, is gaining. It reported a good set of numbers for the fourth quarter. Uh, and uh, we have constant currency growth uh, for the company, which uh, came in at about 18.2%. The third consecutive quarter, very strong top-line growth. Kesha Panda is CEO and Managing Director of the company. He's with us here on the show. Uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Panda, so 7.5% quarter-on-quarter growth, right? I mean, uh, uh, re dollar revenue growth? Yeah, I think quarter on quarter eight percent actually eight percent growth quarter on quarter, mm -hmm. and the year on year FY seventeen to eighteen we grew twenty uh, percent. See, there are two things we need to look at it. Not just quarter, mm -hmm. but FY seventeen to FY uh, eighteen we did very well. Uh, we closed the quarter at uh, you know a revenue of sixty, uh, you know three million revenue, sixty two point seven, sixty two point four actually. Uh, revenue and the growth of almost 66 percent year on year, quarter on quarter basis, and year on year FY17 to 18, our growth is 20 percent. I think it's a strong performance uh, both quarters as well as the year. Hmm. Absolutely, Mr. Panda. Uh, in terms of guidance, you've provided the street with an estimate of at least 16 percent organic growth in FY19. What is this at least 16 percent predicated on, and how much do you think you can probably scale it up to? Um, in a best case scenario, based on you your know, current visibility? I, I can tell you that I think with the engineering work where you do it, in a lot of technology innovation goes in. And what I'm excited about this time is, you know, not only the number of guidance we are given for FY19, if you see our technology digital and, uh, you know, new age technology revenue is 26% of the revenue, that's a great uh, uh, number to uh, keep in mind. Uh, you are going to be relevant in the market, provided you have something to differentiate in the market, in the technology market, what you do. So the number what we, we did, 20% uh, growth year on year, 17 to 18. I said visibility right now, you know, I think last year, if you see uh, FY17, I always used to say double-digit growth. Now we are given a number 16%, at least 16% we are going to do it. And the visibility right now is that number, and we go to the quarter one, quarter two, I think we keep revising this uh, based on, you know, our more visibility and so on. Uh, we wanted to give an indication at least that, uh, you know, the pipeline is strong, and new technology uh, revenue is growing, and we also wanted to, uh, number of accounts, customers, what, 40 million, 30 million, 20 million customers are growing. Uh, you know, to give you one the data point, we had uh, in FY17 quarter four, we had not a single customer with 40 plus million. This year, we have two customers with 40 plus million. Mm -hmm. We have multiple customers with 30 plus million. I think the only way we can scale up to a billion dollar uh, number, provided we have, uh, you know, broad uh, customer base as well as different technology base. And, and, and uh, so sticking to that point, how is uh, the de I mean, deal pipeline and uh, potential client uh, and uh, in the large client uh, pipeline looking like uh, in 19? You know, I think uh, any particular time we have billion plus uh, order booking uh, today. I think the both in pipeline, we look at the quality of revenue we need to do and so that we remain in business. So I think looking at the pipeline and looking at, you know, what we have been able to do, the customer's uh, requirement, there, there is a huge E&D uh, space is increasing. Uh, we see more demand coming in multiple areas. And we, looking at that, we have given the guidance for FY18. Not only that, I gave guidance for FY19. We also said uh, we are, uh, you know, getting ready to hit the billion dollar as well. So I think we have given guidance not only for one year. We also said our visibility in FY19, 20, 21 is visibly good. We should be able to come close to that. Mm -hmm. Your margins, however, for FY18 came down to around 15.5% compared to 18%. What is your guidance for FY19? We did, you know, there, there are a few things happened though. Uh, mm -hmm. In quarter four, we made an improvement from quarter three, 16.1 we got in quarter four. And when you do a large deal project, I think initially there, there is a transition phase goes through. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to have people more on site and coming back and takes time to do that. Uh, and that has uh, brought down, there is no other uh, changes there. Operationally, I think that is uh, what we are working on right now. Only thing I can tell you today uh, that, you know, quarter and quarter, few basis points will continue to, continue to increase. Our goal is to come back to the level what we were before, and uh, we look at this. Working Mr. on that. Mr. Pala, thank you very much. Good luck. Appreciate you uh, joining us with uh, some of that guidance and future commentary. Uh, thanks again. Uh, 1344, uh, Saksha 5.5% uh, plus. We take a very quick break.